Hi, I'm Brett. Today I've got a video update on what makes a dog gearbox by its name. A lot of people commonly uh, ask about a dog gearbox to improve the strength of their transmissions, particularly in the uh, early model 5-speed WRXs because some people are a little bit brutal with them and break them. Some people want them for racing and motorsport purposes. Well, what I can show you today is the actual dog gearbox out of one of my rally cars, which is my 1996 championship winning Honda Civic VTIR. This is actually the second dog gearbox we've had in, in its life. The first one was the one that we bought many years ago from Hewland, long before they were developed here in Australia, and there was a lot of other choices globally. In fact, Hewland were the only ones that even made them available. Um, since then, the gearbox has worn out, went through another owner, I bought the car back, we then upgraded it with this gear set here. Now, there are two main things you want to understand about the description of what a gearbox is, and there is a dog gearbox, which is the way the gearbox shifts, and that is the drive, which I'll show you in a second, between the, between the primary and the secondary gears, versus a synchro gearbox, which is commonly delivered in most modern day cars. And then you've got a straight cut gear set, versus a helical cup gear set. A helical cup gear set is what is typically in modern day cars because the gears are at an angle and they reduce noise and they don't make that classic whining noise that a straight cut gearbox has. And I'll show you some still photos of what these parts look like that you can get off the link at the bottom of this video on our Facebook page um, when you want to after this video has been finished. So don't be too worried about what these parts look like. I just want to show you what the gear set works like first. So this particular gear set is a dog drive straight cut gear set. So you'll notice the gears are straight cut and the drive is actually a dog drive. So there's no synchros in here. So these particular um, lumps on the side of the gear itself, which is the dogs, engage inside this part here when you change gears and on the matching side of that ring which spins on the shaft is the matching slot to match in that drive hence the reason why it's a dog gearbox and when you change gears it goes from one direction to the other and it engages that gear which is then connected to the primary the shaft which is then connected by the dog ring and locks them in together depending on which gear you want to choose. And you'll see on the top of the box here a little bit easier to see the reverse side of, the, of this dog ring which is the slot where the dog fits down inside here which is on the other side of underneath here. So if you look underneath you'll see there's another dog and when this dog ring slides down it slides over this dog and that's what provides the drive between that gear, the dog ring and the sliding part on the shaft because you've got to remember all gears are always in constant mesh they always turn at the same time but depending on what gear is physically chosen by your gear stick and what is connected will actually determine what gear you're in and the way the transmission transmits torque from the engine to the wheels whether it's two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive obviously being a front-wheel drive transmission it's a little bit different in its layout compared to a four-wheel drive transmission on a Subaru but a lot of the components are very similar in the way they work. Um, if you're wondering what this part is, this is actually the cram wheel, which is for the main differential. So the drive shafts on the Honda come in one side from here and the other side from the other, because obviously this is sitting on its side. And on the bottom side here, which you can't see, is a limited slip diff, but that's another video again. So there you have it. That's the difference between a dog drive straight cut gearbox versus probably what's in your car is a helical cut gearbox with synchros. Remember, some manufacturers offer aftermarket options with all. Not everybody offers it, some do. If you want low noise, you can go for a synchro dog drive gearbox because you've got, um, the, without the clunking when you change gears. But of course, if you want to, you can go for an aftermarket synchro helical gear set as well so you don't have the noise from the gears because it's the whining noise caused by the straight cut. So there you have it. At the end of the day if you want the best performance and outcome the strength of the gear set is determined by the shape of the gear and the way the dogs are cut. Of course one last thing I just wanted to point out is a straight cut gearbox transfers the load straight through the gears. If it's got a helical gear set 
the gears are always fighting to push themselves apart, so you end up with a lot more load of the gear sets trying to expand out inside the gearbox housing itself. I'll show you some photos, remember, on the link at the bottom of this video channel, and I hope today this has helped you understand a little bit more about what a gearbox works like inside your car and the difference between the options that you can find all around the world. Of course, you know where you can find more information. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and Instagram. We look forward to your feedback on this channel. For now, I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.